Hello friends. Today I am going to explain how to do sperm washing with double density gradient method using automatic centrifuge that is andro wash. For doing this method uh, what we need is first the centrifuge which is uh, andro wash uh, automatic centrifuge and then the consumables like the cement collection container then the centrifuge tube, pasture pipette, syringe etc. Then uh, we need the density gradient medium, the low density medium, high density medium and culture medium and then uh, we need the semen sample. So as a step number one, first uh, what we need is the semen sample. So husband is uh, provided with the uh, sterile container. So he ejaculates into this and then the cap is put back onto it and then this is left in the room temperature for half an hour so that it gets liquefied. To start the washing, we take the centrifuge tube. Typically, we have the conical bottom tube, but in our case, uh, this tube is further extended. So this design plus this cannula based tube, this actually helps us in layering. So basically this, this uh, cannula based tube opens at the end on two sides. So even if we input the turbulent flow, but because of this two side opening and the extended design, it converts into laminar flow. Then we take the density gradient, low density gradient first. We take the entire volume at a time with the help of this syringe like this and then we take it fully and then attach it to the cap one and then inject it fully like this like this so the low density layer is done then we take the higher density medium here also we take the entire volume at a time with the help of the syringe like this we take the full quantity and again uh, attach it with the cap hole and simply inject it so no need to bother about at what speed you are doing it so this anyone can do it without any prior training so this is how you can you can see the layer the heavy density is at the bottom and then the up the low density is on the top then we take the liquefied cement with the help of the pipette we can do pipetting uh, once or twice as if needed like this and then, then we take the entire quantity and then uh, we simply release it over the wall we have to just take care that uh, we are slowly releasing it over the wall not directly on top of the layer As you can see the layer is getting formed then we take the well the remaining quantity then as you can see 
the layering is done now we take the cap to and put it like this put it on the location time now we take the balancer tube as this is a one wash at a time so we need a balancer tube so we take the water to the same level so that it's balanced now the preparation is done now it's ready to load into the machine this is already power on and then we put the tube with sample first and then we take the other tube the balancer tube and put it into the rotor now this is ready so there is a safety lock so unless the cap is put back and locked the machine will not operate like this so we put the cap like this and then so you see a different uh, light uh, blinking and then when i lock it now it's ready for centrifugation now to start i just press it like this now the machine has started now it will automatically run for 10 minutes and after that it will stop now the 10 minutes is over the machine has stopped now now i'll have to open like this and then we take the tube out like this as you can see the pellet is already you can see at the bottom and the superintendent is over the top so to discard the superintendent we need to just remove the cap and simply we have to tilt it like this so all the superintendent will be gone as now in the next step we take the cap 3 and we put it like this after step 1 washing there can be still some superintendent left over the wall so that we need to clean so for doing that we have this culture medium we take around 0.5 ml culture medium with the help of pipette and then like this we pour it so and then once this is done we take it out and then gently we need to shake it and then we can we can simply tilt it to discard now we remove the cap 3 and put the tube back into the stand then we add 1 ml of culture medium for the second stage washing like this now we don't need to bother about the speed as we are not making any layer now we are ready for the second wash then we put the cap back like this and then we balance the water level on the balancer tube like this now it is ready for the second stage washing so we put the tubes back into the rotor and then put the cap back like this align it then lock it like this now this is ready for second stage washing now we simply press it now the machine will run for five minutes in for the second stage washing and after that it will automatically stop now this second stage washing is complete we'll remove the cap and then take the tube with the semen sample and now we need to simply discard the supernatant just by tilting the tube like this 
and we simply discard this 